Hello and welcome to this section. Super excited to have you back here in the course. And today we're kicking off a very interesting series of tutorials on databases and what they look like in AWS. We're going to see lots of different interesting examples and use cases. And right now we're kicking off with a quick introduction to databases. So let's have a look. Um, in uh, the database world, there's two main types of databases. There's the SQL databases, which are relational. And the way they work is um, you have tables which are connected to each other uh, through different relationships. So for example, in this shipping status table, we can see whether a product has been shipped or not. And uh, let's say we want to investigate the second product where we see it hasn't been shipped. Well, what we would do is we'd look at the orders table and we would connect this row from the shipping table by its order ID to the orders table. And we would see that this order contains two items, uh, a keyboard and a textbook. Well, one keyboard and three textbooks, actually. Um, and then we would also connect that original row to the customer table using the customer ID. And we would see that this uh, ship, uh, shipment was meant to go out to Io Adirelle, uh, and then there's her address. So that would allow us to investigate why it hasn't gone out or what would have been the problem. But in a nutshell, this is just an example illustrating how relational databases work. They connect with each other through these relationships, through these different key fields. Now, on the other hand, we have non-relational databases or no SQL databases, and they were created more recently, much more recently. So uh, relational databases have existed for a very long time, but non-relational databases have been created recently for specific use cases where relational databases are not fast enough anymore because of the volume of data that we have in today's world. So for example, here's a key value store database, here's a graph database, and here's a document store database. And those are just some of the examples of non-relational databases. We won't go into detail in this tutorial because throughout this section, we will cover off all of these types of databases and more. Uh, but the key thing to remember is that there's these two types, SQL, uh, means standard query language. And that means there's a specific structured way of querying the database. And that's always relating to a relational database. And no SQL is another word for non relational database. And another thing to um, know uh, about Amazon databases is that there's three main ways that you can set up a database in Amazon. First way, we'll call it do it yourself or DIY. Uh, you set up an EC2 instance, and then you install the database software on that EC2 instance, and it's completely in your control, you need to manage it fully, um, you need to update it, you need to patch it, uh, you need to make sure everything is running smoothly. So um, that's your database, you can do whatever you like with it. At the same time, there is the fully managed type of setup where you still provide an instance and the database is installed on that instance, but AWS manages everything for you. Things like updates, monitoring, backups, patches, all of this is taken care of by AWS and you just need to use the database and at the same time scale uh, your instance. So provision a bigger instance when your instance uh, is not big enough for the requirements of your database. And then there's a third type of setup, which is called serverless. In this case, you don't need to provision any instances. Uh, there's just a uh, database that already exists and it man it's managed by AWS and you can use that database and it automatically scales with your needs uh, in and out. Um, so the interesting thing here is that the, of course, there are instances in the background, uh, a database needs to be uh, hosted on something. But at the same time, uh, we just don't see those instances, and we don't need to worry about them. AWS takes care of that fully for us. And in this section, we will be talking about uh, we'll be focusing on these two uh, main types, fully managed and serverless databases. And one final thing I wanted to mention is about SQL and no SQL databases. SQL databases scale only vertically. So you need to provision a bigger instance instead of the one that is currently underlying your database. Um, on the other hand, no SQL databases can scale horizontally, which is a huge advantage. So you can add more instances to scale your database. And that is a huge advantage and makes them very 
uh, cost effective in certain scenarios. But we'll talk more about that in this section. So there we go. That's a quick introduction to databases. Here's a quick summary of what we discussed. And I look forward to seeing you inside this section. Until then, enjoy the cloud.